Hey everyone, we're starting off today with the docks build. This is another viewer requested build. Um, so I decided to put these docks down here, just kind of underneath the house. Uh, it's been kind of a long time coming, considering when I, <laughs> when I need to ride in a boat, I just kind of jump off the cliff and go from there. So this will be nice to have um, both from a functional sense and an aesthetic sense because I really like how it came out in the end. Uh, I'm not sure if, well I'm never sure if the people who request the builds even are still watching at the point when I make them, but it doesn't really matter. I said I would build it so here we are. Um, if they're still watching the series then great. So I began by evening out this uh, cliff face, I guess, uh, to make it a little bit more uniform so I could add some uh, wall detailing before I add the actual dock itself. And the details I ended up with, uh, I, I really like actually. I've never really built docks like this before, so it's kind of a learning experience. Um, unfortunately, the first part of this build, the recording, like the replay mod, uh, went all crazy on me, so soon there will be kind of a jump uh, because I had to cut out part of it, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you'll still get the gist of what's going on here. Yeah, right there, I had to cut out all the parts uh, where I was detailing the wall, but you'll see it soon. So, this dock will also be nice to have because um, it will open up an opportunity to do another uh, viewer requested build, which is a ship, and that will be another thing that I had never done before, so it's really going to test my creativity and building prowess, I guess. I will have to play around in creative a lot uh, to, s to figure out what kind of designs to do. Uh, I feel like boats are hard to pull off in Minecraft just because it's such a blocky game and boats are very usually very curved and dynamic and uh, you know aerodynamic water dynamic whatever however you call it uh, so it's definitely a tricky thing to pull off especially if you're doing it at a, a somewhat smaller scale like I be doing. I don't want to build a massive ship that just dwarfs the rest of my base. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so I have this main, I guess, I don't know, I'm sure, that, I'm sure there's a proper term for it, like this main stone boardwalk or something. And then going out from there, I have these two smaller wooden docks. And at the end of the boardwalk is kind of a, a larger dock where I will put the, the ship once I design it and I'm ready to actually build it. And you see back there is how I did the, uh, the wall detailing. I have the glowstone lamps at the base of it to add some light and add kind of an interesting aesthetic as they're covered with uh, cypress trapdoors. I did eventually, after the fact, uh, go back and replace the cypress trapdoors with that blue enchanted wood because I wanted to tie in the uh, aesthetic of the main base more. Uh, I felt a little disjointed, so I do go back and replace those trapdoors with blue enchanted. Uh, I've noticed that's something I've kind of been struggling with with all the builds going on is 
I feel a little disjointed, I guess. Like, maybe a bit of, like, a bit patchwork. Uh, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I'd like to figure out ways to tie everything together more, make it feel more like a cohesive world. So, uh, I'll, I'll have to think of ways to do that. Here is the uh, kind of larger dock. That will be where the ship is docked to, I guess. <laughs> I don't know all my aquatic terms, my my shipfaring terms. Right now I'm just stripping all the logs. Uh, those do actually reach down all the way to the sea floor. Uh, so it did take a while to <laughs> have those log support stretch all the way down. I had lanterns here, but I went back afterwards and removed a, a few of them because it felt like just too much. Like, didn't need that many lanterns considering it's not a gigantic dock. And at the end of the boardwalk there, I wanted to add a bunch of like cargo uh, looking stuff, a bunch of junk or know, things that would be loaded onto a ship or unloaded. So after I add the dark oak trapdoor trim that I'm doing right now, I, I sort of add a collection of crates and uh, various things to make it look like a ship head. Well, a ship will be docked there soon once I actually build it, but make it look like a ship has just unloaded their cargo at the boardwalk. I played around with the idea of making a crane, you know, many ship, uh, many docks will have, you know, cranes to help load and unload ships with their heavier, uh, cargo, but this dock just, I don't think it's big enough to really merit that, so I ended up scrapping the idea. So here now is where I'm adding, uh, a bunch of, like, random stuff that looks like cargo or at least the best I could do. And I also added a lectern uh, here in a second to make it look like it's like a ship manifest or something. You know, a dock worker would review a ship's manifest before it loads or unloads. So it's pretty nice. I like how it came out. Okay, so we can take a look at the docks. There they are down there. Uh, as you can see, I also added this wall up here, so a little bit of safety if I'm walking around up here, and uh, some more lights as well to help prevent mods monsters from spawning. And I also have a convenient door into my house from here. So, like I said, I uh, added these blue trap doors instead, help tie things together a little bit more. And this mod handcraft uh, adds these stone pillar trims, which I think look really nice and add some great detail. So yeah, this uh, we got a we got a boat here. Um, manifest some cargo. This is where like the ship build is gonna go uh, once I actually get around to building that. It'll take some uh, it'll take some time to design that like I was saying. But I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I hope the person who requested it is still watching and is pleased as well. Go ahead and knock that off the to-do board. Uh, so that was by Brian. Um, this was from a viewer, but it's someone I know uh, in real life. So I didn't put a name on it because I didn't want to like <laughs> dox them or anything. <laughs> so yeah, um, I guess another thing I could show 
is I found a couple spawners, monster spawners, and made a, sort of a like entry level XP farm. Um, my opinion on farms like that are uh, kind of mixed in that I like building them. What is going on out there? What is that? What? This is this is spooking me. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on there. It's the simulation broke. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> um, I like building farms in that I really enjoy automation in games. Um, I love automation games like Satisfactory or Factorio or Dyson Sphere Program or any like economy game and stuff like that. Um, so I love doing that kind of thing. But I don't like that I need to do it in Minecraft. Um, well, no, not really that. I just don't like doing it in Minecraft. Not that I need to. I just don't like that. I don't like how I have to go about it in Minecraft. It feels clunky and it feels almost like an exploit. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But that's why I've been reluctant to do any massive farms. Anyway, so the spawner is in there and I made it look like it's this like giant chamber that's hanging by this oxidized copper chain from the ceiling. I don't know, it's a little goofy, but yeah, so it's like the most basic kind of spawner you can have where they fall down here and then you just chop up their kneecaps. Uh, yeah, I don't even have an item collector down here because this is sort of just a temporary measure until I finally cave and make a proper mob farm. Which again, it feels, for some reason, it feels like an exploit in this kind of game. Even though I know it's not really, and like everyone does it, I just... I play Minecraft more for building fun things in crafting a world than I do like automating every possible resource and getting 600,000 levels. Uh, I'm walking this way because there was another XP or another monster spawner somewhere over here that I can't remember where. It was a skeleton spawner, but they were really nearby, really close to each other. So thought would be a convenient place to have two different kind of spawners in one. Oh my goodness, where are you guys coming from? Oh, there's diamonds. Now, I will say something else that is a feature of this mod. Where are you guys coming from? Beat it. Something else uh, one that's in this mod pack is this like system of soul gathering the spirit mod makes it so you can enchant your weapons with uh, like this this like soul reaper enchantment or something where if you have a soul crystal in your inventory when you kill a monster, collect its soul. And then once you have a whole bunch of them, you can actually make your own spawner for any kind of mob that, that you can kill. So it'll be like extremely powerful tool at our disposal once I actually get around to doing it. And I actually
actually think it's pretty well balanced uh, overall because you have to kill a lot of whatever kind of monster you want to create a spawner for and then you have to use a lot of materials from oh here it is uh, you have to use a lot of materials from the nether to actually make the spawner so i think it's pretty balanced and there's other neat things you can do with it with souls like uh uh, special weapons and blocks and I don't know, all kinds of things I probably don't know about. So eventually that'll be fun to play around with. But here is the skeleton spawner very nearby the other one. Uh, I didn't loot these yet, I guess. Um, so it'll be nice to have like two spawners so close to each other. Hey, buddy. Sure. Why not? Anyway, that's uh, that's all that's that's going on down here. We can head back up now. I can remember how to get out of here age-old question. Or I guess we could explore a bit. <gasps> Look at that, more diamonds. So the next episode I think I will do a kind of long play relaxing session where I'm just hunting for ancient debris. You guys seem to enjoy that very relaxed long form content. Well, I, I think most of my stuff is long form, but you know what I mean. The last episode I did where I was just kind of doing some chores. I think that got pretty good reception, so I mean, if I'm wrong, feel free to comment. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be the next episode. I just kind of grind, maybe for about an hour, to just get a whole bunch of ancient debris. Hello, boyos. And then, in the meantime, I'll be working on the ship design so I can get that built. Because that was actually our first uh, viewer request that I got, was a ship. So I feel somewhat bad that I haven't gotten to it yet, when I've gotten to others. Alright, let's actually see if we can find our way out of here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I need to make a better way to uh, <laughs> get down here than just this, that ugly staircase, which I'll do. And this cave was not this big. Uh, I carved all this out so I could really like showcase this cage thing and as you can see I had to mine a lot of materials to uh, excavate this room. Alright, let's go ahead and head back up. And it's night time. No. Bad. I really have to just uh, take a step back sometimes and look at all we've accomplished in this world. I mean, just look at the map. A lot of things. Considering we started with just this little hut right here. And again, that's like that's what I love about Minecraft, is just infinite possibilities. You're never going to be playing in the same world as someone else. Oh, he's got an enchanted bow. Bro's loaded. But he didn't drop it. But yeah, just seeing a world evolve and take shape. And take on its own character 
I see you down there. I don't know, I just, I, uh, I don't think I'll ever get sick of Minecraft for that reason. And then you add on to the fact that there's just like hundreds, probably thousands of mods out there that can really make the game whatever you want it to be. I'm also interested in maybe doing some beta Minecraft gameplay. It's just a to totally different experience. Uh, again, I've ranted about this before. It's not a better or worse, it's just totally different and I love it. But I don't know if I should have like another Minecraft series going at the same time. Well, I know I shouldn't. And I intend this series to be uh, always ongoing, something that never stops, like the the constant of this channel. Other series might end and get finished, but I think Minecraft will be the constant. Oh, it's full. <laughs> but that being said, I might break up the series into like quote-unquote seasons where I don't know, maybe after I kill the Ender Dragon, we'll call that the end of season one, and I'll take a break and maybe do some other stuff. And then after a month or two, we'll come back and keep playing some more and call it season two. I don't know. I haven't really thought that much or that far ahead. Um, seems a little arbitrary, but it would give me space to play other things, I guess. Uh, I know I have two other series ongoing at the moment as well, being Potion Craft and the Knights of the Old Republic. I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out here. Uh, I don't know why I'm heading this way, but I can, and maybe we can, we can make some mi uh, wine while we're goofing off. Some white wine this time. I used to be only a white wine drinker, but uh, as I've gotten older, I've, I think I enjoy red wine more. It just seems to have a lot more uh, body and like personality almost to it, more depth. Maybe I just haven't found. Uh, white wine that has a ton of depth, I don't know. Uh, so we can see all different recipes here. And like... There's some interesting ones for sure. I thought there were... There was one I used, these glowberries. Yeah. Amplifies experience, that would be useful to have. Plus one luck, I have no idea what that does. This was what it was. Glowberries and sugar makes makes us glow. I want to try that. Should we try that real quick, just to just to have some fun? Let's gather this. Oh, I'm full. We'll 
put in here. Um, what did it say? I already forgot. <laughs> Glowberries and sugar. No, wait, wait, wait. I need to add the sugar. Okay, well, let's go get some sugar. Alright, got some sugar. I guess I have to put the sugar in before the glowberries so that it doesn't try to start brewing right away. Or unless I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Uh, I've really only ever made the noir wine, which is uh, health regeneration. So if I put this in, this in. Nice. Let's see what it looks like if we place it. Pretty cool. Let's uh let's go underground real quick and try it out. See how much we glow. Uh, the OGs, the the old old time uh Long-standing viewers will remember this spot over here had a, a mine shaft underwater. Let's go in there, and uh, maybe we can find a dark area. Test this out. not as cool as I was expecting. Torch gives more light. <laughs> um, what is... Oh, look at that. That's kind of interesting effect. It's a little like jumpy, kind of like giving me a seizure. All right, well, maybe that's not the best wine. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of goofing off now. <laughs> I think we're going to call the episode here. Once I get out of here. I hope you guys like the build. I hope you found this uh, relaxing and enjoyable. And I will see you in the next one.